Welcome back kings and queens and welcome if you're new here. My name is Hope King and I'm the designer behind Kings Designs MD. Today I'm in Canva and we're going to work on designing some notebook covers since it is back to school time. So if you haven't used Canva before, this is your home page of Canva. You go up here and create, click create a design. Now what I've noticed is most notebooks are 8 by 10.5 and you can see that's already put in and so we're now click create a design if you don't know how to do this go back and click create a design you'll see custom size at the bottom and that's where you can put 8 inches in width 10.5 inches in height and then make sure this is clicked to inches before you put your numbers in because it'll distort your image if you don't so we're going to go to elements. I wanted to look for something positive and I started typing in positive quotes. A lot of kids going back to school uh, struggle with anxiety and things like that. So we want to give them something good to look at and make it simple and easy. Making notebooks does not have to be complicated. You can put whatever quotes you want in there if you want to change your own um, text. Or you can type something like this into the element box on the side and get a preset list of quotes that already exist. So today I'm going to choose this one, Make Today Great. And as you can see at the top, if I wanted to, I can change the colors. So if you have a kid that um, has a bunch of different subjects, they might want this same quote, but they want different colors so that they know which notebooks go to which class. So as you can see, I expanded this out I'm going to check my positioning. It's center, middle, and center. Um, because if it wasn't, it would be slightly off. And let me show you. See how middle's popped up. If I click it, it'll readjust it. But when it's already centered perfectly, those are grayed out and you don't have to worry about it. Now, I want to leave this front uh, color blank. But if you wanted to change it, you could change your background color. So I, I duplicated my page for anyone I'm going too fast for, I'm sorry. I just click duplicate page here, which gave me a second copy. Sometimes I like to play around with the second copy to see which one I like better. So that one I made pink. We can duplicate it again. Click on it. And let's see if we want to choose something else like an ombre, which is cute. So as you can see, you can take one image from Canva and make a bunch of different notebooks, whether you're making them to sell, give away for your kid. You can just make a bunch of different notebooks just by changing the color of the background, not necessarily having to change anything else, and you get a bunch of different looks out of it. So once you're done with that, <clears throat> I typically cut my notebooks in Canva. Excuse me, I cut my notebooks in Cricut. So I save my image. You can click the share button, go over here and click download. You can save your image as a PNG file, click download, and then send it over to Canva. Now I already have a video on how to cut out your notebooks in Canva, but it, every notebook is different. So if you're creating it with your cinch machine you can just cut it um, by pressing it on your cinch if you don't have a cinch machine but you have a Cricut again I have a video for that you can upload your image um, as a background um, pattern basically and let the Cricut cut it out for you I don't Cricut can cut it as a print then cut. I do not cut mine as a print then cut in Cricut. What I actually do is print mine through my printer just like you would print anything else. I laminate mine with a lamination machine and then I use the template that you guys saw in my other video which I will do my best to link here and I allow my machine to cut it that way. The reason I do it that way is because I have a Cricut Explore 2, Air Explore 2 and my print then cuts cut really small 
so it would not allow me to have full notebook size if I actually wanted to make notebooks. So this is a workaround. Sometimes you have to work with what you got. Other machines might be able to accommodate that size, but traditionally or historically, mine has not been able to do that. So again, I print mine with my printer. I laminate mine with my lamination machine. And then I put it on my Cricut mat and allow my Cricut to cut out the actual frame of it and the holes of it. Because when I print this, even though I set this as eight by 10 and a half, when you print it, it's gonna print on a regular sheet of paper. And so you'll have the white edges around it. So I hope this makes sense for somebody, but this is just a quick way to show how to make a notebook cover in Canva.